Good morning again. Is God okay with his remnant leaving their space and going down to Egypt? Our reading today is at Jeremiah chapter 42, verses 13 through 17. But if you say, we will not dwell in this land, disobeying the voice of the Lord your God, saying no, but we will go to the land of Egypt where we shall see no war, nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor be hungry for bread, and there we will dwell... Then hear now the word of the Lord, O remnant of Judah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, If you will wholly set your faces to enter Egypt and go to dwell there, then it shall be that the sword which you feared shall overtake you there in the land of Egypt. The famine of which you were afraid shall follow close after you there in Egypt, and there you shall die. So shall it be with all the men who set their faces to go to Egypt to dwell there, they shall die by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence, and none of them shall remain or escape from the disaster that I will bring upon them. So we're following up from the other morning. We're looking at these three or four parts at Jeremiah's response to the people and their response to Jeremiah. They had asked Jeremiah, what, what should we do at this time? We want to know. We'll do everything God says. And here's part of that warning that's coming back now from God through his servant Jeremiah by the way, don't be thinking to even go down to Egypt. That's the warning and some conditions. If you do, these are the things that are going to happen. So God makes his will known. He's very clear. And as we're actually going to see very soon, already some of the people, there's an intention in some of these people to take all their stuff and go down to Egypt and live there for a while. That's already in their hearts and minds. Of course, God knows all about it and he's fully opposed to it. And these people are thinking that they're going to go to Egypt and they're going to avoid the, the troubles that they've just been through in the land of Judah. They're going to avoid war and those kind of troubles. They're going to avoid hunger. We're just going to go down to Egypt and, you know, we're going to go down to San Diego and eat in restaurants every night. No, that's not what's going to happen. Why did they have to experience war and hunger, famine and, and all these things because the nation was in apostasy from God. He's trying to chase them. He's trying to bring them back, as many as he can bring back. He allowed these things to happen. He actually caused these things to happen. He withdrew his protection from these unfaithful people. And so, boom, all this stuff comes down on them, just as he told it would through his servant, Jeremiah, and other prophets. And now what? These people are going to pack their stuff and go, go down in Egypt, and everything's going to be wonderful there? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. God says, don't go. Your purpose, my purpose for you right now is for you to be here. It's not vacation land. And God doesn't abandon his purpose. God's not fickle. If he starts to discipline you, he's not going to stop until he's done. And it's needful for the spiritual growth of these people that they stay where they are. And he's letting them know plainly. They asked him and he's telling them. God has a particular place for us to serve him. His whole planet Earth is his vineyard and he put you and I in some place, somewhere here on planet Earth. This is where his servants in his vineyard. So we need to make sure we are at where he wants us to be and that we don't leave our post of duty. If he calls us somewhere else, then that's our post of duty and away we go. But otherwise, we stay where we are. We follow him. He has a purpose for you right where he puts you. So they've made a request. God is clarifying his purpose just as they asked. And starting tomorrow morning, we're going to begin to see their response to this. I sure hope it's a good one. And maybe I, as I read ahead, maybe I misread it. But we'll see tomorrow morning what that response is. Right now, let's pray about you and I. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be content to work where you place us. It is your vineyard. You know right where you want stuff. Help us to be right where you want us. Help us to be content to work where you put us. Sometimes we don't want to be working in a certain place. But you see better and you see what's right for us. So help us to go your way, not our way. We ask for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Should they go down to Egypt? Is God okay with that? Pretty sure the answer is no. You and I, let's work where God is placing us and be in that place until he calls us somewhere else. Go do his work today. It's going to be a good day.